Today I'm going to try and make something I've been wanting to make for a long while, and that's a, a tripod dolly. Um, now, um, a regular furniture dolly um, has four wheels because it's rectangular, um, but a tripod, and here is my tripod, has three legs. Okay, so it needs three wheels and, um, and a frame to hold those three wheels and hold up the tripod. And this allows, um, allows you to move your tripod around the studio or the workshop or wherever um, uh, much easier than, than just than picking it up and moving it. And you can, you can move it in a smooth manner. Um, that's, a, that's called trucking the dolly. It's a, it's a, a typical camera move in, in shooting. Um, so, um, I, don't, uh, I don't have any plans uh, yet other than what's, what's in my head and um, I'm going to try and sort of um, make it with what I've got and, uh, and make it work as I go. All right. um, so, um, to start with, um, uh, it, it's good to, to understand a little bit about what you're doing, okay? So um, this is a little tiny tripod that's going to make it easier for us to visualize what I'm what I'm uh, trying to do here. So let me move down here and um, sketching sketching what you're doing is um, is a useful a useful way of uh, figuring this out. So um, you've got a tripod, okay? Um, it's got three points um, where the tripod contacts the ground okay um, and um, and then so we want to make a dolly that goes out from the center of the tripod okay and um, so it'll it'll be shaped something like that. Okay. Now my thinking is to use um, pipe for for these parts and um, a piece of wood um, to provide the center structure um, for the uh, for the uh, the design. Okay. And then each of the pipes will have a a hole cut in them where the feet of the tripod will set into so they won't fall off the dolly. Um, so that's, that's the plan. Um, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Um, and uh, so um, now, we need to, um, now we need to start assembling um, what materials um, I have around to, uh, to see if we can do it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need, obviously, are wheels. We need three wheels. Um, so I have... Um, I have a box of wheels, okay? Uh, it's labeled wheels, so I know that's what's in it. Um, so let's, uh, let's look in here and see what we can find. Um, so I have... Uh, these round wheels, okay, um, and those those would do, okay. Um, but these kind of wheels here, where there's a pair of wheels with a gap between, these have an added advantage um, in that you can set up a track to um, to run your uh, to run your um, uh, tripod on for a nice smooth trucking shot um, and that track um, so yeah, the track is some sort of tube or something and then the uh, the wheels will run on so these would be a better choice um, for that um, but I only I only have two of them but I have I have these smaller versions of that okay so I think I think these these will be strong enough to hold up a tripod and a camera we don't need a huge amount of there's not a lot of huge amount of weight there so I think these smaller ones will do 
Um, and these uh, these look like they, they were saved from a piece of uh, um, furniture that I assembled but didn't want wheels on. So, um, so that's that's what we'll use for the wheels. Okay, um, and so now we need um, some tubing and uh, or pipe and the center wood piece. Um, so um, let's take a walk over um, to my scrap pile. And I have a nice big piece of PVC pipe. Um, so this uh, this should uh, this should work nicely for the um, for the, uh, the the tubing, and then um, down here in my wood pile, um, I have a piece of MDF um, that I think should work well for. Um, for um, the the center uh, the centerpiece, okay. Um, so we've got that. Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna need to bolt the. Um, I'm gonna need to bolt the um, the pipe to the to the centerpiece. Um, so nuts and bolts. Um, those are over here. Um, so, um, you should save parts, you should accumulate parts in your workshop over the years and, um, and because that makes these sorts of projects possible where you don't have to run out to the hardware store to do it. Um, and um, organization shall set you free. Okay, so, um, so I, have, I have this, it looks like kind of a, a bit of a mess, but um, these two shelves are, are basically nails and staples and things that you pound into uh, to fasten. Um, this shelf is screws, this is nuts and bolts, and then this is all sort of miscellaneous hardware here. So, um, nuts and bolts here. Um, And these um, these do not look long enough to uh, to bolt the no they're not long enough to bolt to bolt that um, so uh, it looks like I got Four. Okay, so I got six carriage bolts. That's two per. That should make it nice and rigid. Okay, so, so that, that that'll work. Um, but I need nuts for these. So okay, those fit. So uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, okay, um, and we will probably need some lock washers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and some regular washers. Uh, washers, washers, where are my washers? So, those are fender washers, then. Eh? Yeah, those holes are big enough. Um, there should be 
them up in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have six washers. Six washers, six carriage bolts. Okay, I have a little tray here that I'm organizing things in. Just uh, just to keep them straight. Three, four, five, six. So, um, so I think we have um, we have all the the hardware that I think we're going to need. Um, so we need to um, we need to now start uh, marking up our board to make our triangle piece in the middle, and then uh, measuring our tripod and cutting up um, the uh, cutting up the uh, the tubing. So let me get that out of the way. And okay, so I got a square and I got a protractor. Um, so, um, this piece of wood is uh, nine and a quarter by a foot. Okay, so four and three eighths would be. Center that way, and six inches would be the center that way, and you can't see what I'm doing, so let's. Uh, center here. So that's the center of our board. Okay, so um, 360 degrees around divided by 3 for each leg is 120. So um, we're going to have um, three legs at 120. So let's do the first leg up to there. Okay, and then Hundred and twenty degrees is there. And one hundred and twenty degrees from there. Yes, here. So now we've got three, um, three equal equal um, angles there for the uh, the center, um, and we're going to need to um, map out how we want to cut this out. I'd like to ease this these corners a bit just to. Um, just to uh, reduce the strain, uh, the sharp edges tend to um, tend to 
going to tend to be a breaking point for MDF. So I'm just going to trace around this round roll of tape here to ease those. Use those edges. Like that. Okay, so that um, that gives us our um, our three uh, our three wings there for bolting. The, uh, the tubing on to, so we can bolt the tubing on there, and then um, and go from there. So, um, so the next step, um, the next step is to um, is to cut cut out the uh, the center piece here, and um, and to cut the uh, the tubing to length. Um, so, um, so that's uh, that's where we'll go next. Okay, I uh, marked up the edges uh, with some Sharpie to make them easier for you to see. Um, and uh, so now we're going to cut this piece out. Um, got my hearing protection. Put that on. Obviously a bandsaw would be better for this, but I don't have a bandsaw at the moment, so we make do with what we have. I'll uh, clean this up and uh, we'll get on to the, uh, the pipes. Now I have to figure out about how long uh, each of the pipes need to be to get from the center of the uh, of the tripod out to the uh, to the leg, so I've extended um, uh, one section of my tripod legs. Um, I don't think I would go any wider or higher uh, on a dolly, <clears throat> so that should be um, enough to give us an idea. So. inches so I pipe here is five feet so 20 40 60 that is perfect market and cut. Okay, I marked off uh, three inches um, on each of these um, le uh, spars here, and so I'm going to mark off um, the uh, the pipe for drilling to put the, the bolts in. Um, so, um, 
since that's three inches, we'll go um, one and two, I think. Should work. One and two. This is not a precision operation, but we want to get reasonably even. One, and two. And so now we need a drill bit. And we want something that's going to be bigger than the bolt, but smaller than the square on the carriage bolt, so that it'll go in tightly. One more. Okay, that should do it. block of wood to drill into and I'm just gonna eyeball this Let's just do one for now. Okay. Now what we can do is we can line this up. Washer, black washer, nut. And now when we drill this one, it'll line up all the way through. That's good and rigid. And we didn't, then it's only finger tightened. So that's good. So let's uh, label that A. A. So that we know where that one goes. And we'll do the rest.
I want to assemble uh, what I've got so far um, before moving on because uh, the holes for the wheels and the tripod uh, legs need to be um, perpendicular and uh, or perpendicular to the to the, the the tube mounted on here. They need to be lined up. So um, while these holes didn't matter too much, um, the rest of the holes uh, do. So I need to get uh, need to get this um, put together um, properly. Um, so okay, so that's C. So that goes there. there. And that leaves a Tightening it down to try and force the uh, squares of the carriage bolts into the PVC so that it's uh, good, tight, and rigid. Okay, so the next step is to drill um, a big hole in the top um, of, of the tube for the, uh, the feet of the tripod to uh, fit into so that um, it doesn't slide uh, off the top of this. I suppose I could put flats on top, but making a hole um, will trap it and keep it uh, more stable. And then on the bottom, we want to put a, a small hole for the, um, the pin on the wheels to fit into to hold the wheels um, out at the end. And I think I want the wheels uh, outboard of the, um, the tripod um, uh, holes um, and uh, to make it uh, more stable um, as it rolls. Now, that mean, might mean we need this. I'll need to cinch up the, uh, the legs of the tripod a tiny bit, but uh, that should be fine. Tripods are, are designed to be adjustable in that dimension. So, um, so that's the that's the next step is setting up and drilling. Um, like I said, big holes, maybe uh, maybe a one inch hole um, or three quarter inch hole um, on the top to hold the tripod legs, and then a small hole on the bottom for the wheel pins. So I've been thinking about um, the mounting of these wheels in the tube here and um, what I'm thinking is that if you if you look here um, there's not a lot of purchase between the pin and uh, and the pipe so I'd like to 
fill in the end of this with something to give it some structure um, to hold the, the wheels more firmly. Um, so get my, my scrap bins out of here and uh, I just need to find something round that will, that's too loose, that will fill that in. Um, that's, that's a little loose but that's a nice decorative um, square. Um, oh, okay that works. That works pretty good. Alright, so um, this is a this is a good choice of scrap. It's, uh, it's left over from a project one of my kids did when they were little, and so there's <laughs> there's hot glue all over it, and whatever. But um, it'll be inside. It'll be hidden. It won't matter. Uh, so um, I'm just gonna slice this up, um, and, and maybe one inch slices to um, to fit. Um, in the ends here, and uh, and then when I drill into the the pipe, it will uh, it will give some uh, some purchase to the to the wheels. So um, all right, let's move you um, over here. My protection. Um, I got it. Cut that off. Okay, so now I have three little inserts to go in the uh, in the tubes to hold the um, to hold the, uh, the, the wheels. Um, I should probably I should probably screw them in uh, to, uh, to to hold them. So let's look for some screws here. These are these are self-tapping screws, so um, I can just um, drive them in, and they'll screw, they'll drill and screw at the same time. So I need a driver. And there we go, we have nice uh, ends here, um, one inch deep to put those um, wheels into.
Okay, so now we want to drill the holes for the, uh, the wheels. We want them uh, exactly perpendicular or as close to that as we can to our, um, our flat uh, dolly here. Uh, I don't have a drill press, sadly, um, but I do have this uh, little mini home drill press that uh, is uh, something of an antique uh, at this point um, <clears throat> that I picked up at uh, a yard sale or something years ago and um, it'll do the job for this so I'm just going to put a bit in here tighten that up Stop so I can set it to go to the right depth. Okay. And um, so this bit is um, a small, smaller bit. There's ridges in this uh, wheel here. Um, you can see there's ridges that uh, will bite into the wood. So we'll drill that hole first, and then I'll drill just a slightly bigger one uh, in the PVC only. Um, and um, I want to mark um, the distance for this. So we put a one-inch plug of wood in there. So we want to go. I want to go in a half an inch. Okay. Um, so right about there. And so I'm going to drill all three with the smaller bit, and then I will um, switch to the slightly bigger bit to, to drill the PVC and go around again. Let me get my... hearing protection here. Okay, now I want to measure and mark where the tripod actually lands on this uh, dolly so that we can drill holes to act as pockets for the, uh, the legs. So, I I mark that. where to drill our holes. Okay, I'm back at my little mini drill press to drill the holes for the tripod legs to, um, to land in. I'm going to use a Forstner bit. That's a Forstner bit. Um, these are perfect for drilling large holes where you want them to come out nice and, 
and smooth out along the edges. Um, so, so that's the, uh, the best tool for this, this job. Okay, it's time to finish this up. I'm just going to clean up the, uh, the edges of these holes a little bit and um, put the wheels on. And we should be all set. Okay, and uh, that sets in there very nicely. You can see it'll roll around on the floor uh, when we uh, get some more room. So I'll bring it up to the studio, and uh, and we'll be uh, we'll be good. Now, when it warms up a little bit outside, I'll put a nice coat of black paint on this, and uh, it'll. Uh, look uh, it'll look uh, much better uh, but it's functional and it works and um, did it with uh, with just stuff I had laying around the shop